This is Steve. He has a brilliant idea. He outlines the idea in a document. Then he sends it out to the members of his committee. Well, except for George. Steve forgot to CC him. Max likes what Steve has done, but makes a few modifications and comments, and then hits reply all. Meanwhile, Wanda makes a few changes, adds her comments, and even attaches a couple of articles she feels are relevant. That's it? Then she hits reply all. Of course, these reply to all emails didn't include George. Beth returns from vacation. I'm back. And finds her inbox is full. Whoa, three documents? Which one am I supposed to review? I better find out what's going on. So Beth sends a message to her colleagues. George is a bit surprised. What the? Ugh, I should go back on vacation. Steve wants to find a way to end this type of confusion. We need something, but what? Wanda knows what to do. We could use McGill's content management system. I'm using it for another project. Me too! Was there an email about that? How does it work? The committee gets a space, which is like a website, but just for the committee members. We can use the space to collaborate on documents. There's only one copy of each file, but older versions are retained. And only one person can edit the file at a time. <sighs> Wait your turn, Max. What about keeping everyone updated? The space has blogs, which we could use to keep everyone informed through announcements, meeting agendas, and minutes. And wikis that everyone can contribute to so that procedures and best practices can be documented. And discussion forums, so everyone's voice can be heard. All of these tools could link to each other. And a single search finds content in all of them. Yes, but the search isn't limited to just one space. I have a space for a project and another for a committee I belong to. And a single search can find results in both these spaces. And even in spaces of other departments at McGill that have made their files available to everyone. You, you have two spaces? Yes, Max. Each space has its own homepage and different members, some even from different departments. And members can be automatically notified by email when content has been added or updated. Even me? Steve decided a space in McGill's content management system was the right tool for his committee and found his space was visually attractive and intuitive allowed him to find information quickly through the search, reduced email and duplication, and promoted better collaboration within his committee. To learn more about McGill's content management system and how to get a space, visit www.mcgill.ca slash cms. And don't forget to let George know about it.